Hello, I'm Jermaine Andre, two-time world champion MMA cage fighter. I fought to stay out of gangs. I fought for my family. I fought to pull my crew out of prison. This is my story. North St. Louis, late 1980s, a time when racism was still rampant in some areas and gangs thrived. I was ready to die. I was ready to do whatever needed to be done. Jermaine Andre used and developed his mixed martial arts skills fighting bare knuckle wars in the streets where rules didn't exist. Solitary confinement is where the worst of worst is at. It's called Supermax, that's where I was at. Yeah, you know, hostage takers down there, serial killers, you know, I mean, it was, it was, it was wild, so you always got action. All this would be happening, I never participated in it. And I always told everybody, hey, dude, let me tell you something, I'm not a criminal. I'm not a convict, I committed a crime, that's it. So I don't go by that code, all that stuff. People are people to me, and that's just the truth. He gained the trust and respect of the inmates and the guard. The warden actually pulled me in and he said, you know, I'm gonna give you the uh, gym for a couple of hours a day to have a martial arts school. This is when transformation began. This is where he changed prisoners' lives. This is the birth of Muye Tigers. And we actually named ourselves, and all of my guys who were my top guys, they were the tattoo I got on my left shin, on the right shin, as a mark of understanding the martial arts. Jermaine left prison with a vow to pave the way for his fellow Muay Tigers and others interested in real combat martial arts. This meant putting his own life at risk. Back when I was fighting, the, uh, sometimes there were no rounds. Uh, Sometimes there was no time limit on the rounds. The, the weight classes were wider range. There was a 20, 30 pound, you know, if sometimes there were no weight classes, you'd walk in and the rules would change that day. I wouldn't even knew what I was gonna do, you know, when I came out, if I hadn't jumped on this path, which led me to becoming, you know, a world champion in the Hall of Fame. The Mouye Tigers are more than martial artists. They have a strict code. I don't ever want to water down what it takes to be a Muay Tiger. Are you one of these guys who wants to be a cage fighter? Yay, I'm a cage fighter, you know. Uh, yay, I'm this, yay, I'm that, just for the glory. Because being a Muay Tiger is not about the glory. You know, it's about the struggle, it's about the pain, it's about the suffering. It's about, it's about willing to fall for what's right. You know, and, it, 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 and a lot of times it doesn't even have anything to do with physical fighting. It's got to do with the, the, the physical fighting they show in their heart. Muye Tigers, a ferocious true story of struggle, loyalty, resilience, and power that will inspire anyone. Hear Jermaine Andre's captivating story. From the deadly streets, to the Hall of Fame, to role model. Jump into Jermaine's corner by supporting the production of this documentary now.